So, as everybody knows now, uh, I had written a series of Star Wars Tops cards, but there was a mix-up, and they told me that they sent me the wrong boxes, and they weren't the cards that I'd actually written all the backs for. And now I have my first shipment of the Star Wars Tops Chrome Legacy 2021 cards that I wrote. I wrote hundreds of cards for this set. And this is the first time I'm going to get to see them. So hopefully the box, I got the right boxes this time. And I'm going to open some and hopefully I can share some of that with you. And they packaged them. It was so like weird, like getting the cards the first time and going like, oh wait, these are the wrong things. So they've got... Jin Jaren on them. I wrote a bunch of cards for the Mandalorian. Um, and that was weird. Like when I saw the first boxes, I was like, this is weird because I didn't write hardly any original trilogy cards. All the cards were mostly for like Solo and Rebels and Clone Wars and Mandalorian season one and two and Rise of Skywalker and Solo. In fact, I don't think I wrote a single one for those aside from there's a whole bunch of really cool, uh, a whole bunch of really cool lightsaber cards that are in this set that I got to write, like cool little stories about everybody's lightsaber. Um, but I'm so excited about it. I'm tearing this apart because I'm just like dying to get into a pack. One hit per mini box. It's criminal how expensive these are. Okay. This is one of these cards that I wrote it. And there's the front where they're stealing a TIE fighter. It's weird the way they had me do this is uh, I didn't get to see the images. I just got the title of the card and just had to assume what, what they were talking about. Um, they were all in sort of like chronological order though. So yeah, I'm gonna have to buy quite a few boxes if I want to collect as many of these as I can um, because I want them. Ooh, here's another. This one's another. A 45 out of 50. The people of Lothal celebrate. Yeah. These are so cool. These are the cards, like, when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I, uh, it was, uh, Star Wars cards that I collected because I, uh, couldn't afford anything else. Oh, cool. Check this out. So I got a Tatooine Rhapsody card. And I got another one of these, the 42 out of 50 cards. The team tries to capture the Mando. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's weird how card, uh, card collecting has changed because, yeah, like when I was a kid, it was like the one thing I could afford. Ooh, five out of 25, Finn and Poe deliver intelligence. And this is what I wrote for this card. After receiving sensitive information from Bulio, a sympathetic spy to the resistance at the Sinta Glacier Colony, Finn and Poe Dameron barely escape the First Order to deliver vital intelligence to the Resistance. There's a mole inside the First Order who has passed on information that will shake beliefs about the galaxy and the war to their core. And I got an autograph card. That's cool. This is one from... Anyway, I'm really excited about these, and I'm going to spend the next half an hour opening these and checking them out super cool so uh i'm just really excited about this.